In this video, I'll show you how to create stunning black and white photos in Affinity. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the photo that I'll be using in the video description. Okay, to start, let's go down to our adjustments and let's apply the black and white adjustment. Automatically, this turns our photo into a black and white photo, but we can customize it even more by adjusting these color sliders. These sliders will make each of these colors lighter or darker, so this is a really fun way to customize how it looks. The first two sliders, red and yellow, really affect skin since skin is made of red and yellow. So as you adjust these first two, pay attention to the skin and how it's affecting your subject. In this case, I think I'll darken the red slider and I'll darken the yellow slider as well. For the rest of these sliders, I like to bring them up and down to see what areas I'm affecting. I think this green slider is affecting the background a little, so I'll just make this a little darker. The cyan slider seems to be affecting his jacket and the background, and I think both of those look better a little darker. The blue slider looks like it's affecting similar areas, so I'll just darken this as well. And last, we have the magenta slider, which isn't really affecting anything, so I'll double click to reset it. Okay, with that done, I'll close out of this. And now you can see what this looked like before and after. This is a really good start, but black and white photos are all about lighting. So I want to show you a technique that you can use to really enhance the lighting in this photo. To begin, let's add a new pixel layer. We can use this blank layer to paint white and black paint to brighten and darken different areas. So let's grab the paintbrush tool. And before we begin painting, let's change the blend mode of this layer. If we paint right now, we're just going to paint full paint over the photo. But I want this to blend with the layers beneath it. So I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. You can see that this blend mode lets us brighten and it blends with the layer underneath. So it's a lot more natural. I'll undo my painting with Command or Control Z. If we paint in white paint on this layer, we'll brighten. And if we switch to black paint, we'll darken. With our paintbrush set to 100% flow, this painting is very intense. So I like to click and drag on this to make the flow a very low number. That way I can gradually build up my paint. I also like to make sure my hardness is set to 0%. With that all set up, we can begin painting. I want to brighten our model to make him stand out more. So to brighten, I'm going to press X to switch to my white paint. You can press X at any time to switch the colors. Then I'll use the bracket keys on my keyboard to make my brush a bit smaller so that I can paint this over our model. I'll paint it over his face and his jacket to make him brighter. We just painted a little bit, but you can already see a difference. Here's the before and after. If you want to enhance certain areas, like the highlights on his jacket, you can make your brush smaller and just paint over those areas. If you want to add contrast, you can switch your paint color to black with X, and then you can paint over some of the dark areas to enhance them. I think the lighting on our model looks really good. Here's what it looked like before, and here's the after. Before, after. To make the model stand out even more, I'm going to keep my paint set to black 
and then I'll make my brush a lot larger. Then I'm just going to paint this black paint across the entire background. We want our model to be the brightest so that he stands out, and by darkening the background, I think this will really help with that. With that done, now we can see the difference. Here's the before and the after. This looks so good. If you've finished your painting and it looks a little too intense, feel free to adjust the opacity of this layer. With that, I'll hold shift to select both of the layers so that you can see the complete before and after. Now you know the big secret of how to make stunning black and white photos. It's easier than you might think. And if you enjoyed this video, I'll leave a link in the video description to my free affinity course. In the course, you'll learn 10 simple steps to make any photo amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.